Get ready to clock at the house, girl, because we got some drama. Some of you guys on Twitter are like, Nikki, when are you doing a review on the new Beauty Blender foundation? And I'm like, what foundation? Don't they just do sponges? So I go over to their Instagram and guys, look, what? Oh my God. Oh my, oh my, what? Oh, we'll see about that. Like, when is this, when, I need this. Oh, upon further investigation, thank you, my dear Chadwick B. Jordan on Twitter for sending me this. Um, why is this all vanilla and then that last row is just a little bit of spice? Guess my review ain't happening. You know, also, why is this one neon orange? Hmm, I truly hope that is the case because I was, as you could tell, I was honestly genuinely so excited for the Sange. So let's hope and pray that the shade range actually isn't that bad. Um, and if it isn't that bad, I'll end up reviewing it, but let's, let's wait and see. And how are we all feeling about that? Um, I, t I comment on Chimwood's page and Beauty Blender themselves actually wrote back and they were like, this is a bad picture, there's better shades, there's this and that. So they've actually went to my house while I was gone, delivered all the foundation shades to my home. Um, so do we need a review? I think we do. I leave for Texas tomorrow, but I will bring them with me and we will see the real tea. Because I didn't see a lot of melanin blessed queens in that shade range, honey, and that's just not appropriate. Um, it's 2018. So, uh, what do we think? Tweet me. All right, so the picture I just posted was the first sneak peek at the Beauty Blender shade range. Now, of course, I was like, hmm. Um, so then they sent Trend Moon a better picture, and I'm gonna throw that up right after this. All right, and then there was the new picture, which doesn't look that bad, but I feel like those first three rows, it's like so similar, maybe unnecessary. I don't know. We will see when I see the foundation range at home later. But um, I always like to ask you guys the makeup tea. What are your thoughts? Tweet me, let me know. Okay, just getting home. Oh, hi, egg, Maddie. <laughs> this is Madison standing next to this giant beauty blender. The shades have landed. Let's open her up. Oh, hello, PR box. Wow. All right, guys, this is the talk of the internet today. Let's open her up. All right, so here are the foundations. This is the first time I'm actually seeing the packaging in person. Ooh, wow, okay, actually feels pretty good. Um, now, I think there's more shades in here. There are 32 total. Maddie, will you pick that up for me, please? Oh, wow, okay, so here is more with a lot of beauty blenders. Hi, and um, I think there's more, Maddie. Oh, no, there isn't? Okay, cool, you never know. Um, okay, let's talk about it. All right, so here are all of the light shades. Um, there are 32 shades, of course, and then here is the wheel with a lot of the dark shades. Now, I think um, I'm gonna film a review on this, you guys. I am flying the text, like I said a little bit ago, so I am going to bring um, some of this. I'm gonna pre-film some stuff here, just talking about everything, and then I'm going to film a full review tomorrow and hopefully have it up this weekend. Currently filming with the Beauty Blender Foundation. Here is 21 shades so far. How are we feeling, people? <laughs> um, here they are in person with no filter, no anything. Um, these are all from the PR. How are we feeling? I am doing a full review, filming something right now with it, and then I will finish the review tomorrow in Texas. So here is in direct sunlight, all 32 shades. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I know these are very messy. I just wanted to do it on camera really quickly. Full review will be up very soon. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Get ready guys, because we have some major drama. Yes, ma'am. Seriously, today, we're going to war. Yes, I have my little camo on, girl. So what the drama is, every time I make a Kathleen Lats video, I get attacked. 
I get so many comments, negative pe people, come, people who I have never even seen before. I don't know what it is. I make a Kathleen Lights video and it pops up on people's recommended and they're big Kathleen Lights fans and they're like, what the hell is this? And they click on it and they're like, oh, how dare you talk about Kathleen Lights? And they leave negative comments, girl. I put this video right here, I had did. I have got so many dislikes, so many ne and like, it, If you go in the comment section, it's like a war. Never ending war, battlefield, 24 hours about Kathleen Lights. I, I just can't have an opinion about Kathleen Lights without getting sh without getting hate. I don't understand it, but I try. Every time I try, girl. Every time Kathleen Lights gets in drama, I'm gonna be right there, girl. That bitter old battered warrior trying to fight, girl. Trying to fight for the right to the beauty community, girl. Well, here we are again, girl. But Kathleen Lights, never met, is once again in the drama. Now you won't believe what happened. Here it is, she has some opinions, but she can have an opinion and nobody can question her. But let me have an opinion and y'all come for me the how and take me up to the volcano and drag me up there like a sacrificial virgin lamb and throw me in, girl. I don't know what it is. So you know, I have the receipts, girl. My, my mirror broke, girl. That's how you know, the drama was so good. She just couldn't keep up with all the drama and it broke, so. R.I.P. to the pink phone case, girl. So here's what she had to say. I'm not crazy about Kylie Cosmetics. I just think you can get a lot of those products at ColourPop for so much cheaper. But I'm living for this banana theme. I'm actually thinking about buying the summer collection. Palette looks like my jam too. Now. She just had to throw in there. Color Pop's name. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get today's sponsor out of the way. And I'm gonna spray some of this magical scent, girl, to get rid of all the demons and attract the sexy men. Once again, today's sponsor is Aloha Elixir. They have really cool candles, made by hand from Hawaii, and each candle does a different thing. Bring you money, bring you love, get rid of negative demons, the house. So thank you guys so much. I'll put their link down below. Take them out if you want. They have some really good stuff over there and they're really good people. But you know, Kathleen Lyons, we need to send her some candles, girl, because she's mustering up all this negative energy. So here's my complaint. You already know. Kathleen Lights can do no wrong, girl. Every time there's a ColourPop collaboration, it's with Kathleen Lights. God forbid they give somebody else a chance, get up on the scene in the beauty world and get do a palette, but Kathleen Lights basically is ColourPop. Well, of course, me and Cynthia over here, thanks to our sponsors, we did a little investigation, okay? Now, there's this website called Seed Beauty. Now, if you're hip to the game, and you know a lot about makeup, you're gonna know about Seed Beauty. This would be old news to house. A lot of you are gonna be like, oh, so boring, honey. So Seed Beauty makes makeup, but they make makeup for ColourPop. They make makeup for Kylie. They make makeup for KKW. And they make makeup for some other people they don't wanna mention. This is why people say Kylie Cosmetics is ColourPop. This is why Kathleen Light said it's the same. Kylie and ColourPop. You know what I'm saying? ColourPop's a little cheaper. You, already, you get what I'm saying? So I don't really know about all that drama. You know, God forbid you say anything to Kylie because she'll sit up there and say, well, it's a different formula. It's a special formula. You know, they, all, they, all, they always say that. Anytime somebody says this palette looks like this palette, it's a different formula. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Different formula, okay? Well, let's just be honest, girl. She said she was going to buy it. Maybe she was going, maybe she's trying to get on the Kylie PR list, girl. Maybe she's trying to chug her way up there like everybody else. My opinions are, this was her chance. This was Kathleen Light's chance to throw a little dig at Kylie, but yet say she's going to buy it anyways and plug ColourPop. That's my opinion. Now we're going to move on over to some other drama. You already know, Nicole Concilio had something to say too, girl. Well, everyone knows that Nicole Casilio had just recently reviewed the new Kylie Cosmetics Banana Palette, that's what I call it, girl, even though that's not what it is, for the summer. And of course, we were on a good track record. Me and, me and Nicole Casilio, we had some going on. We had a good track record. Last video she made about Kylie, she straight up said, I don't really like it. Mm-hmm. Well, she reviewed this palette, and guess what? She loves it so much. 
she's back at it again, girl. Nicole Castillo reviewed Kylie Cosmetics' new palette and gave it <laughs> raving reviews. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. Cynthia fainted from all the drama. Oh my God. Cynthia, girl, hold on. Okay, Cynthia fainted from all that Nicole Castillo drama. Of course, she had something to say. This is what she tweeted. Only because she was responding to somebody that said this. I'm sick and tired of people hating on Nicole Castillo for liking the products. Like maybe she just genuinely loved them, question mark. Everyone has different wants in a palette, so get over it. If you don't like her, just leave and stop being mean. Well, Nicole Castillo posted this. It's okay, babe. They're just commenting what's trendy. They have no thoughts or opinions on their own. They say and believe what is told to them and generally, I don't want those kind of people following me. Well, she's made up her mind. Anybody who has a different opinion with Nicole Castillo is following a trend. That's it, I mean, what else could it be? Nicole Concilio bought a blue skirt at the mall. I don't like the skirt. Therefore, she shouldn't follow me. I shouldn't have enough. How dare me? How dare any of us have an opinion on Nicole Concilio lovers so much? I mean, it's bullcrap, girl. She should be like, you know what? I understand some people don't like that I love her stuff so much. And I can agree that the majority of my videos have been in favor. But you know what? I actually do kind of like it. You know, something like that. But she was throwing a little shade at everybody. Everybody who's ever made a video, who's ever had a comment, she's basically isolating herself from the beauty community once again, girl. Now, there's some rumors that have been popping up that she recently bought a home off the backs of Kylie Cosmetics, and so now she needs to pay the mortgage. She needs to pay the mortgage, so let me go ahead and mwah, kiss up to Kylie Cosmetics. If that's the case, more power to her. I don't want to knock, I don't want to knock nobody's hustle. But I've been saying this for years. Kylie Cosmetics is Nicole Castillo. Nobody would really know about Kylie Cosmetics. If it wasn't for Nicole Castillo, my opinion, I'm allowed to have it. She promoted them so much to the point that she is Kylie Cosmetics, girl. Even when people, when Kylie Cosmetics first came to the scene and people were like, hmm, let me see, let me see if it's worth it. Nicole Castillo already loved it so much. And it's all your little people. And then of course, Kylie will share her video, share the, the house. And so everyone's like, oh honey, then we must be onto something if this is the case. If Nicole Castillo loves Kylie Cosmetic, it must be good. It has to be good. I'm really interested to see what you think about all that drama. I, once again, I don't think Nicole Castillo should have responded in that way. And I don't think Kathleen Latt, who can do no wrong, should have came, should have talked about Kylie Cosmetics, bashed it and then loved it, and then plug her ColourPop Cosmetics. Now these are just my opinions. As always, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. And don't forget, I have music on iTunes and merchandise down below. Check it out if you want. See you next video. Bye, I love you so much. Okay, if I don't do this now, I'm never gonna do it. But we have a BoxyCharm video. Yeah, bo yeah, it's just, yeah, BoxyCharm video, guys. I'm gonna throw it in this one, girl. I'm gonna throw it up, throw it up. So of course, I got a BoxyCharm. This is the card I got today. We got some little coupons in the back. This is, so for those of you who don't care about BoxyCharm, you can go ahead and just leave the video. So for us cool kids who like BoxyCharm, we're gonna just go through it. Okay, so the, I opened up the box. This is the first thing I got. Now, I don't know what this stuff is. I just open it. What the hell is this? What's, I don't even know what this is, girl. Oh, look, there's some there's some product in here, so I guess you go like that. Let's see. Okay, well, I still don't know what that is. So let me find out the drama. Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. Never heard of that, but okay, I guess I'll give it a try. Now, I never heard of this brand called Note, okay? Illuminating Silk Compact Blush. Now, if you've heard of Silk, now, if you heard of this brand called Note, let me know if it's any good. So here's the packaging. Here's it is in the front right here, love it so much. Okay, I opened it, here's this right here. And then we have a brush, here's a little brush, and then let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little thing here, and then we'll see. Where's the pigmentation? Where's it at, girl? You know I'm trying to, I'm trying to get in there, girl. Hold on, here we go. Okay, she's coming through, girl. She's coming through the house. Now, it's a lot of fallout, but I guess that's to be expected. Let me see, let's be generous, girl. I don't wanna be a hater. There it goes, in your face, there's your blush. Now, I also got this, don't know what it is, by Wander Beauty, Volume Curl Mascara. 
Here it is, a little drama. I guess it's black, yep. I can actually use this one. Then, no more baggage, needles no more. So this is gonna de-puff your puffiness under your eyes, so definitely gonna try this one out. And then the moment we've all been waiting for. The palette by Crown Beauty. I've never owned a palette from Crown before. So I'm kind of excited about this one. Let me see, I'm gonna do a couple swatches here. Now they don't have any names on them, girl. But let's see. That one's pretty keen, love is the mint. I kind of like this top row. Like I'm just gonna pick some of the colors that really like stand out to me the most, girl. Okay. Oh, a little highlight. And then we'll do this middle one right here. And I'll put this one right in there. There we go. And then I wanna do this one. This one looks like every comadre wears that to the quinceanera, that color right here, girl. Every aunt, uncle, comadre, Lupe, all those, they wear, this, they wear that shade right there, girl, every time. And it looks just like that. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I don't want to get too much into it, girl. I don't want to go too much in-depth review, but it's a cute palette for what it was by Crown. I heard that next month's Baki Charm is going to have a Laura Lee palette. I don't know which one, girl, but we'll have to wait and find out. Girl. Let me know what you think it is. Okay.